Hi, folks. Um, good evening, wherever you are listening in. If you're from Nigeria, the Americas, South America, wherever you are, welcome to a Twitter space with me, Kalu Aja. Uh, here we talk money, uh, finance, and of course, the economy, but we want to make it personal. How do all these concepts affect your personal wallet? And today we are talking about credit, right? Credit. Uh, personal credit, business credit, but we're going to focus more, I believe, on personal credit. Just to give you some background, the figures for Nigeria are, are, are abysmal. I saw a data point from the Enhancing Financial Inclusion and Access in Nigeria. That's an organization that tracks financial inclusion in Nigeria. And they posted that I believe the amount of Nigeria that had accessed credit i.e. the amount of adult Nigerians in the banking population that has accessed credit was below 5%, i.e. if you take the total number of Nigerians that can have a bank account, less than 5% have accessed credit uh, since 1960. I mean, that's not even a data point. That's really like a, a, that's really a drag on the economy. Without credit, we all know you cannot grow the informal sector, especially the SMEs that need credit at that level. And also now that we have the economy and the demographics of who we call a worker changing, where you have uh, workers working across uh, boundaries, across countries, you know, sell remote work and all that, you know what COVID has introduced, we now have a different kind of workforce using different kinds of needs for credit, right? So we, it's a good idea to talk to all the providers, you know, the guys that are in this space, you know, probably a fintech, to get their perspectives, you know, and then see what they are doing can impact we as the consumers and, of course, the SME folks, how we can impact us and hopefully grow our business. So my pleasure to have the guys from Cabin uh, here with us this evening to talk about their mission on how they want to revolutionize the banking landscape. Uh, so let's get them on here. Hey, Cabin, uh, how are you guys doing? Okay, guys, you got to hit the unmute and then you got to speak. So before they get that sorted out, right? So let me lay it out for you guys again. You cannot look at any economy, anyone, right, where there is no access to credit and you see the GDP growing or wealth increasing. Literally, if you plot Nigeria, if you plot Nigeria and you look at where credit is, is given and where the GDP per capita is high, you see a correlation. So you see uh, Lagos, where you have a larger concentration of bank banks and banking services, has a faster growth in terms of productivity and in terms of personal wealth creation than, say, other states where you don't have a large number of banks. Literally, there are some banks in some states that are just what we call deposit collectors, and then you come to some states where we have credit creators. Wherever credit is created, that's where you then have wealth being created. And banking in Nigeria, I don't want to use the word banking, credit in Nigeria has been done by banks. Now we have the fintech guys coming in, like Carbon, coming in to then offer credit. It's a very, very important you know, development. Without disseminating credit to the middle, the small, medium, and should we say the micro credit. You really don't have an economy. It's just that simple. So it's very important that like whatever the government does, whatever the CBN does, they are able to, you know, should we say unshackle the financial landscape to allow more players deliver access to credit. This is what we call the financial inclusion. Deliver access to credit, right? to the population. So I'm waiting on Carbon to unmute so we can get this conversation started. I, I want to learn a lot more about them. I see them on the space. Once they unmute, I give them the mic and then we can get going. But for now, I'm just going to talk, you know, my thing, you know, we, wealth creation is, you know, it's, you, you can have all the goals you can have, you can have all the means, all the research, but without that access to credit, you really aren't going anywhere. A startup in San Francisco can get credit. So their failure is not because they don't have credit. The business idea could fail. But the best business idea in Nigeria can't get credit. i just give you guys a data point. Less than 5% of Nigerians 
Nigerian banking population since 1960 has not been able to access credit from a bank, right? So what that means is that we've had to then create these non-banking alternatives to getting credit. Just today, I posted on my Twitter handle how startups can get credit. Startups should not go to banks for credit. Banks are not designed for startup finance because bank loans are short-term and are quote-unquote expensive. Banks are designed for your working capital. You have a need that you're going to get cash soon. You go to a bank, you take that loan, you clean it up, right? You don't take a bank loan to start a business, no. You use your family and friends, you use your own capital, you use equity, long-term equity. That's how you start a business, not with a bank loan. So we want to see more of it. So let's assume you now have the equity from your business. Your family gave you some money. Your friends give you some money. You sold your car, sold your land, and you then started this business. You then have a contract or you then have a pitch that you're going to do. And if you do that contract or that pitch, you then get payments back, say, 90 days or 180 days. That's when you go to a bank to finance that transaction. So it's more of short term, right? So you do a line. You can use your credit card if possible. That's when you use a bank loan. But to set the business up, to hire people, to get an office, to buy your equipment, be careful about going to the banks. There's nothing wrong with the banks. That's what they're designed to do. Banks don't finance startup. They are, their deposits are short term. They are there to help you working capital. E equity from your family, from your friends, from seed. That's how you finance a startup. And if you look at all that seed round, seed A, B, C, they all have different classification, when you can get them, when you can get them, and, and how you should use them. But you do not want to use short-term, high-interest bank credit before you get a loan. All right, folks, I'm not seeing carbon on mute, so I'm just going to the floor open, guys. Um, if you have a question, you want to talk about credit, I can do that for you. Um, let's see what I can do. Are we seeing what's happening in the Nigerian banking sector, guys? Are you seeing what's going on right now? Uh, well, how we've gone from the uh, floating exchange rates to what we have right now? How is that affecting your banking? Is it better for you if you go to your bank? Are you able to get a loan? Yeah, that's also a topic that we can talk about next week. Um, but I'm here. Uh, let me go to my DMs and see if the shy folks... Okay, yes. Someone is asking, what is a native? <laughs> that's what I want Kevin to answer. What's a digital native? I understand that to mean in this current work environment where you are doing remote work or you're working bound, 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 bound uh, borderless, right? You work in Nigeria, you are getting paid by someone else uh, in a different country. Essentially, that's basically where that's basically where that comes if you're a native. Yeah. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna remove these guys from host. No. If you're a host, you can speak. There we go. So I'm gonna put you guys as speakers and hopefully you can accept, the, we're, we're waiting on you guys, so don't keep us waiting. Go ahead, Carbon, accept the invite to speak and then just get right in here. But let me go back to my DMs as usual. So that's why I think a digital native is, but I'm not, not a tech guy, right? So the, the tech folks would come up and would be able to tell us um, what a digital native is. But, Look at it this way. I, I, I got a, a, a DM from a guy, I think it was this week. He works in Nigeria. He earns net, net, $12,000 net every month. That's what he, net every month. But he's living in Nigeria. And he gets that money. Money comes into a foreign bank account and he can get access to it to change in Nigeria. That sort of guy is what you're seeing now as the norm in Nigeria, where lots of IT folks are now applying their trades across borders, getting paid in different jurisdictions and those funds or those kind of workers are not going to be able to walk into a Nigerian bank and say I want to take a loan because they don't get they don't get paid in Nigeria right so you can't do a verification of income say with Nigerian sources you might have to maybe write to the US bank but still it's an outsourced guy he's not a staff he's not an employee he has no credit or he has no uh, no pay slip you know he wasn't employed it's a gig economy he does this he gets paid. But he's on a long term, you know, he, he they've held him for a long term and he works with different employers. So that kind of guy walking to a Nigerian bank, right? How does he get credit? That's the whole idea. How does he get credit? 
this is what we are going to talk about with carbon, right? So if you come to the traditional Nigerian bank, they would ask you, what's your collateral? What's your source of income? What do you want to use the funds for? You might have to fill in an application. It goes to a human to approve it, and then it comes back to you. But we want to democratize that credit. You know, to make it, when we say the word democratization, you know what it means, no? You know, take it down to the root level. To make it easier for this class of folks, right? That class of folks, we want to walk into a bank and say, this is what I do. This is the new economy. And I would like to get credit to do this. Maybe buy a computer or a server. How can you help me? Now, those loans, we want those loans to be faster, right? We want our loan to be faster because it's more targeted. And we want the guy that is listening to us to understand exactly what we are asking him uh, to do. So that when we tell him, listen, we'll work for two or three employers, he understands it's a power gig. He knows we don't have a collateral, that our collateral is our pay slip. He understands that we don't have to be an employee to be, quote unquote, earning from the company. This is what we want the new and emerging, should we say, providers of capital to understand. Banking is not going to be the only, the only way that you get loans in Nigeria, right? Banking is just one, one part of the way you get financing. Banks are not the only source of funds in the country. They're just, should we say, the biggest and most visible. We have to then create other means where we are able to then access credit, especially in this space that does not have the conventional means to show that they earn income. So what I'm trying to say in simple English is this. If you are a digital guy or you work in the gig economy, it's very, very difficult for you to get a bank loan because their policies or profiles are not set up to approve a bank loan for you. Hence, when we see folks like Carbon coming with new products that perhaps would address that gap in the market, we're very, very interested. And I'd love to have them on here. I can't seem to find them. So hang on, guys. I mean... I'm here. I can talk all topics, but I want to talk this particular topic with these folks. If they don't show, then we might need to, if someone pops in and asks a question, sure, I'll answer. You guys got me here, so I'll answer. Uh, let me look. Um, da, 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 da. Please advise me on how I can own a home in the next 10 years. <laughs> he says, I've done my first year, let me see, as a professional engineer. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. If you want to get a home, the question is in what country? I got carbon here now. So, sorry, come back to you. Hey, how you doing, bro? Carbon, you've been keeping us waiting. What's happening? I'm good. My apologies for the delay. We had technical issues, but it's been sorted out now. Excellent, excellent job. All right, so go ahead and introduce yourself to the waiting community, and then we get started. Hi, everyone. My name is Yano. I am a product manager at Carbon. Great, 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 Yana. So, Yana, I've been trying to you know, tell people without telling people too much about what you guys did. I wanted them to hear it from the carbon's mouth. Right? So, what are we talking about today? What is this thing you bring to us today? Could you give us a bit more insight, essentially what it is? Yeah, sure. Um, again, thanks, Carlo. I, I overheard your conversation prior to where we were trying to log in. Um, and so, b before I give a full disclosure of what, what we're about, just a background, um, Carbon's, Carbon's mission is pretty much simple, to be everywhere our consumers go and play fundamental roles in their lives. And how do we do this? One of the ways we do this is by providing um, very versatile credit solution for their unique financial needs. And... Um, on this piece, we are going to be addressing how carbon can be a vehicle, a tool to access credits for for young mm -hmm. people, digital natives, and upwardly mobile professionals. Excellent. So talk to us about why you are inspired to do this. I tried to fill in for you, but talk to us why you are doing this. Is it because there's a gap in the market or is it because you have a product that is really, really, you know, like set up for this? So talk to us, please. Yeah, thanks. So yeah, um, why exactly are we are we doing this? One of the things we realized um, before we started rolling out credit facilities, as we began to transition into a digital bank, we realized there was um, needs with our kind of users. And so when we checked the data points with the kind of users that make use of carbon, we found that there were middle class, there were uh, young people, there were digital natives, and what they needed in addition to their usual cycled income was credit facility. And what Carbon is doing is we are providing access to um, very stress-free and simple uh, credit solutions for these users. I like that word, use, use cycle. Say that again, please. You said cycled income? 
Yes, cycle income. What does that mean? So what that means is if if um if you're an, you're between twenty five to forty year old and you have a job, more often than not your income comes in. I mean, some people got paid yesterday. Some people are going to be paid this week between the 21s to 20, 27s. And so um, between the first of the month and sometimes the mid of the month, you've realized most most young people, most people on paid employment seem to be out of, of, of money or income. And so it would be great to have uh, in, in such period to have access to, to credit facility. Gotcha. So it's more or less I get my my income, but because of expenses and running low, you guys can step in and do that working capital bridge. Pretty much. Pretty much. So is this targeted? Talk to us. Who is the digital native? Let's hear from you. Who is the digital native? All right. So, yeah. Um, thanks, Carlo. For, for us, where we call a digital native in 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 the context of in the Nigerian context, um, it's someone who grew up predominantly with access to technology, and wow. um, definitely in the information age, and we have access to like technologies at their fingerprints. And yeah. so we we classify those people as digital natives. Gotcha. So this is like a tech bro, tech girl, and all that. So do they, do they have to live in Nigeria, or this is like who is the demographic of a digital? Give me a demographic. Well. Um, we don't necessarily have to be a tech bro, but I think it better put us tech savvy about access to, um, I've got great internet presence, I've got access to pretty much comfortable with the internet or technology generally as it were. And so that's a typical kind of user. The fact that you're on this space, this link shows that you, you conversant with the use of social media and you some so, somewhat aware to join this kind of space on finance and so for for a demographic would be young people between the age preferably between the age of 25 to 40 and um i've got great social media awareness or, or pretty much socially savvy and i've mm -hmm. got access to 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 go around and maneuver the internet so that's how we did we would classify our, our digital native in this context and right, so now, you don't have to be in Nigeria. You don't. It's not compulsory. You should be in Nigeria. It's limited to just folks here in Nigeria. Gotcha. So let me let me use myself. Let's say I'm in just Plateau State, right? And I am a twenty. Tw I'm a thirty year old guy. I work for. I, I do IT and all that. So what would you guys use in terms of criteria and processes? If I want to get a loan of say fifty thousand naira it just came it's an emergency to buy a new laptop whatever that broke over the weekend how would you guys what's the criteria what's the process what do i do one two three four five how, how does that work yeah and in, in very simple steps on how to in this particular case um, how do we access um, credit to access um, um, credit facility very simple you depending on what device you're making use of if yeah. you um, an, an android or an ios you go to the play store you download um, carbon's app and you complete your registration which is quite simple mm -hmm. um once once you're done with your, your registration you and you're particular about getting a credit facility we need to have basic um credit assessment done and which is either which you submit in your BVN or your bank statement. And the reason why we're asking for this is so we can able to um, just do the diligence and for assessment on our hand. And from there, we are able to offer you um, credit facility in just simple steps. Again, you download the app, you sign up, and you complete your KYC um, to a significant level, then you can access credit. Do you guys pull my credit score? Sorry, I didn't get that, Carlo. I said, do you guys pull like my credit score? I know there's a credit score in Nigeria now. Are you going to pull my credit score to give me? Is that going to be a factor? Well, uh, yeah, definitely. That would that would play a good role um, in determining um, the volume of how much you're going to get access to. Uh, okay, so I wanted in this case fifty thousand uh, naira, right? Do you have like an income level I have to be on to get this fifty thousand naira, or how does it work? Is it that if I you get my BBN, do you use my income to justify how much you give to me, or is it more like credit? How, how does how do you know how much you give to me, more or less? So uh, from your from your analysis of this case, I think you're breaking up a bit, sir. Um, I think you broke up. Can you guys hear him?
you broke up a bit. Are you back? Okay, so let's just um, dive in here. Dive in here. Hello, sir. I think it's going to be can, can, me... can you hear me? I can actually, I can actually hear you. Go for can it, you? Yeah. I had asked the question. I don't know if you can hear me. I had asked the question, right? So if I give you my BVN, right, and I want to get 50000 naira loan, how does that work? Do you look at my income to determine how much you give me as a loan or my assets? How does it work? Like, just, if you could share just a bit of that internal, how does it work? Yeah, so for you to get 50,000 layer loan now, um, you've, we have got a very robust credit assessment process. And in addition to, like you made mention of your BVN, uh, and we would require you to provide your bank statement. And um, this will give us a, a rough idea as to, your, um, to verify your income. And more importantly, we also adopt a debt to income ratio, which is to measure our, our customer ability to repay back. And without putting it in such a bodysome manner. And all of these points, all of these factors come into play when determining how much um, how much you can get access to. Gotcha. So I hear you say debt to income level. I hear you say income. So those are two big, big things that we're going to focus on if you want to get, get a loan, right? So my most important question is, what's the interest rate I would pay? You know, I would use the word APR, but let me just use that interest rate in this. What would I pay? If I were to get this loan of 50000 naira? how much would you guys charge me? And how long could I take? So, um, yeah. So for, for the interest rate is really dynamic in the sense that for every customer, we, we've developed that carbon, we've developed an internal income model. And what that does is that um, there are different factors that comes into play when determining the interest for a particular facility. So, for example, your employment type, uh, your repayment rate, um, the customer's VIX level, and more importantly, their, uh, their income level pretty much comes into play when determining one, the limit, and as such, the interest that is levied on that. The reason why we do this is so that um, it, it doesn't, we don't have um, a situation where we get to give customers amounts of money that they are unable to pay back. So, yeah, interest level is, is quite, uh, interest on each loan is dynamic in this calculation. Yeah, but what, what's the, what, do you guys have a minimum, maximum cap? What's the, how does it work? Like this is a yeah, this is a question I've gotten since we I just do I want to know okay I know a bank I know what a bank will charge me so mm -hmm. what's the range like if I got excellent credit excellent income you know I eat my conflicts and everything what would you guys charge me so yeah um, so a good example is one of our products a credit product called um, Carbon Zero and for that particular product and you would you would go online and you realize that it's interest free and we do not charge interest on it is zero percent interest on a monthly basis what is charged there it's a five percent processing fee and so for such credit facility right now it's interest free so what i'm saying there is it could be as low as um, 30 to five percent but primarily we do not charge a fixed income uh, we do not charge a fixed interest on on this facility yeah, so let me just, the reason why I'm asking is I don't want, you know, to put again into a loan, loan, um, should we say, what's called, loan trap. I, I will, I, because um, the guy you've mentioned, these guys I work with, this cycle income, right? They don't get their incomes monthly. They don't usually get paid, yep. right? So we've got to be careful that if a guy is getting his income, you know, he gets it paid once per gig, you know, he's not paying this fixed income, you know, that eats into his own principal. He gets money maybe in December, but in April, he doesn't have money. And if he's paying that, you know, fixed charge, it might be a... That's why I'm asking this question, to get the, the real cost of the loan. I love the loan. Yeah. It sounds like it's, it's a targeted uh, way to get funding to that class of demographic, but the cost is going to be something that I really would love us to land on if, if we could. I hear you said the 0%, but yeah. Yeah. Um, so for for a new user that signs up with Carbon right now, you can get credit facility as low as 5%. 5%. All right, guys, you've heard him say that 5% for new users that signed up with you. Okay. So in terms of, if are there other perks for me? If I take this loan, can I repay on time? Would you guys charge me if I repay on time? If I got the loan, I was thinking I was going to pay two months, but I got my, my, my credit maybe next week and I repay on time. Is there a fee for that? Uh, do I get bonus points? How does that work? 
So if you take Carbon Zero loan or any other loan on the platform, um, you nobody charges you for paying on time. Um, if I if I get you right, and there are no uh, penalties if you pay on time or any of those. What how it works is in in area like like I earlier shared, um, we try as hard as possible to have a very um, while it's quick, we ensure it's very detailed credit assessment done on each user for each loan application, and as such, we endeavor not to give you. Um, um, credit facility that is going to be a burden to you. And so when it's a period of a payment, you don't have to struggle with it. However, um, life happens, things could be very difficult. We live in a very, um, very um, volatile society and anything could happen. And as such, you may not be able to meet up with your payment. And there we put a very small um, charge for you if you're unable to meet up with your repayment as initially agreed. Okay, so which I, is done the daily repayment. Okay, okay, I hear you. I hear you that. Let me throw you a curveball. This just I'm only asking this because this came during the week. The CBN has asked um financial institutions to collect a lot of data from their customers going forward. A lot of data, phone number, residential address, place of birth, BVN. I mean, they are asking for social media handle and everything. So let's come to Carbon, right? In terms of data collection, data privacy, you know, you're going to look at my BVN or before even CBN and ask for that. How safe is it? You know, we're all digital now. If I give my information to Carbon, how safe is that? And that's a good, that's a good question. Um, like you rightfully pointed out, just yesterday we saw um, the went went around the internet where the CBN is mandated third, um, the collection of social media handles. And so these are really, uh, for us at Carbon, we are really careful and particular about this data from our users uh, because they're giving in trust. And so for the question on data privacy and security concerns for, for, for users in the, in, in the financial service space or banking space, we ensure at Carbon that we follow the best practices and standards with data privacy and we work, we work very closely with regulators more importantly we ensure that the data that is given in in trust by our users are not divulged and we we also put in place very strict standards including gdpr and pcl this, this ensures we are in peace with the highest level of standards and we ensure that these users like i said this data is not shared or divulged with third parties I hear you. So like I know in the States, if I give them my information, they give me the one policy that says I can sign off if I want my information shared. They destroy my information after a certain number of years. I'm not sure if Nigeria has those policies in place where I can say I don't want my information shared and it should be destroyed. I'm not sure if we have. I'm not asking that question. I'm just saying I'm not sure if there's a law in Nigeria that says information collected has got to be destroyed or this is how it should be used. But it's, it's, it's worth noting that that's something we can, um, you know, Talk around, as we say, right? So somebody's asking me a quick question on DM. I'll just get that across to you. Someone's asking, do you do educational loans? Very, very specific question. I don't want to address that if you could, if you do educational loans. Or if it's going to fall under this, this category, more or less. For now, at Carbon, we do not offer educational loans. Okay. Um, however, we offer other loans that can um, suit the purposes for education. So once you sign up on Carbon, there are several loans or, or credit facility which you can gain access to, which you somewhat also do the work of an educational loan. Okay, and this is more, so since you said you don't offer educational loans, so these are, these are mostly personal loans and lines of credit, i.e. what Carbon is offering? Yeah. Okay, so can, but can I take the, if I take the personal loan, do you, does the, the object, if I say I want to use it for X, do I have to tell you what I want to use the loan for? Or if my income is good, can I just take the loan from you guys and say it's personal reasons? Would that fly? Very, very, very straightforward as that. Kind of, um, we don't need to be particular about the reason. Once you provide us with the required um, um, verification document, your bank statement, your BVN, and we verify you've got a good credit score and you've got a good assessment, you have access to take credits to the tune at which you've been scored at, and you're good to go. Okay, quick question for you again. Right? What else are you guys doing in the Nigerian banking space? I hear you say the word digital bank. How else are you guys using digital technologies to just to provide a seamless, convenient banking experience, right? What else are you guys doing apart from the loans? You know, I, I've come across carbon here and there. 
But what are you guys doing that is so different, right? Say from, say, the big banks. If you could just walk us through what makes you guys different in tech, yeah? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the question, Carlo. Um, at Carbon, we, we've come a long way. We've transformed from a, from a credit company into a credit-led digital bank. And aside from offering credit um, loans, we also offer a variety of other products that offer over other services, um, like uh, our bill payments, like debit card. You could also get access to the buy now, pay later product. And so you you have access to savings and to free transfers, deposit, and high yield savings accounts. So pretty much it's a digital bank. What you could the services you could obtain at a traditional legacy bank, you can as much get at, at carbon. The difference is it's it's a lot seamless, it's a lot faster, and it's more um it's more accessible for you. You don't have to it's as free. So regardless of your income level, you could pretty much access credit facility. You don't have to submit a collateral, you don't have to be able, it's not as strenuous as a traditional bank, and it's very quick. You can get at the tips of your fingers. So that's what we and we offer at Carbon. In, in addition, if I didn't mention, we also provide investment. So wow. you could have access to investment also on the platform. Well, talk to me about that. What does that mean? So um, so if you if you go on Carbon as a new user, you could you could you could have um there are different investment plans. You could, there are also different savings plans that you can choose that suits your um, risk appetite or risk level. And at Carbon, you have access to all of this. Okay, so like, so if I were to just like save money for like a year, I could do that on Carbon. Yeah, you could do not not just the idea. Like like I said, there are different savings um, plans that you could use, like like um, Vault. It's very dynamic. The the, the savings is also there's a saving that you can take out your money without. Uh, you could break your savings. And there are also savings plans that could be held for as low as six months, as much as twelve months, based on your your need or your risk appetite, pretty much. Is this something you could share the interest on those things? Is this something you could share now or oh yeah? Like, uh, I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. I'm asking, is this something you could share what those rates would be? I'm just asking. Um so for for interest rates, uh, you could um, the interest varies for all of these savings plans. So if you're saving for a minimum of one month and you could get um, very small interest compared if you're saving for a longer period of time, but let's say between 10 to 15%, you can get interest currently. For cash vault, you can get um, interest as 15.5% for your savings um, um, that you, you put on carbon. And why for flex, you get um, interest of 9%. And, and I can get that money. It's like I get a higher rate of return when I, when I put you guys, but I get the flexibility. It's online and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if you, if you heard me. All right. So let me just, um, I'm just looking at the DMs. I got some great, great questions for you here in the DMs, if you don't mind. I, I don't know if anyone wants to speak. I don't know if you want to take questions, but I've got a lot of questions on the DMs for you, right? So you might ask you. I think it's off again. I can hear you. I'm here, Carlo. Gotcha. All right. So someone is asking on on the DM, like, what's the longest like tenure that he could get this loan for? What What's the long term? What I, I didn't catch that. So he's asking in terms of the tenure, that was the longest tenure that. Um, those these loans are available for like can you get it for like a year is it a maximum tenure for the loans in question yeah you could save on carbon as it were as long as as long as five years okay good okay i've got tim Lade. tim Lade, i've got you on 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 point um thanks for requesting to speak uh you got a question hi good evening Hey, I can hear you. Hi, Tim. How are you doing? Uh, where are you calling from? Um, calling from Nigeria. Gotcha. Yeah, go for it. You got a question? Uh, so, um, thank you for answering all the questions, um, Carbon Representative. I think for me, as a business owner, my question is a little bit different, and I'm very sure that there are probably 
people who run small businesses on this call or people who are just looking to start out businesses. Um, so, for example, when I started my T-shirt business about two years ago, it was just me doing my thing in my bedroom before it graduated to me getting a store here in Abuja. And I think one of the major things I wish I probably had you know, access to at that time was enough capital because there was a lot of demand for my business, actually. So it was not just, um, you know, something abstract that I just wanted to do with the money. So for business owners like me, and probably some of the business owners listening on this call, what are the chances of getting loans for small business owners? Um, you know, because when you go to banks, you know, they ask you to bring collaterals and all those things. Um so for people like us, are there chances for us to get loans for us to start our businesses or scale our businesses? Thank you. Great question. Great question, right? I mean, that's the real question everyone wants to know, right? So what do I need? You know, how can I get access to this? That's really what people want to know. That's what I have on all my questions. Kabo, you've got the floor, sir. All right. Um, if I confirm to me, you asking about loans for for or. Uh, for businesses, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your question very clearly towards the end. Yes, loan for businesses, but not just businesses, small growing businesses. Um, Carlos, so I didn't get to hear her speak. Is, is, it question, is it possible for you to yeah. rephrase the question? She's asking that she wants to get access to loans, not just for businesses, right, but small, medium, micro businesses. Businesses, she wants more clarity on the on those options. What are the options for carbon for small micro businesses? How can they get access to those loans? So I mean, gotcha. she's saying she's an SME. What are the loan products that are really targeted at her? And she's saying she's not just an SME, quote unquote, big SME, but assuming she's a small micro SME, what are the loan products targeted at her? All right, gotcha. Thanks a lot. So. Um... For for small uh, businesses, SMEs that would require um, loans, uh, Carbon we provide very unique uh, loans for SMEs. And what what would we require from you now is if you're going to sign up to get SME loans, is you have to provide us with um, with bank statements and CAC your your corporate document that shows that you're a registered business. And what that does for us is that it helps us determine how much uh, we can provide to you. And once you provide us with this stuff, as much as 10 million naira, if you provide this document, I will see that you've been you've been assessed to the tune of that amount. And so yet yeah, there, there's no enough accessible for, for entrepreneurs, for those building small businesses in Nigeria. All they have to do is log into a portal to uh, uh, SME loans, carbon SME loans, log into the portal and uh, fill in the, the required uh, field, which should go, requires uploading your document and providing the necessary information. Then we'll, we'll get back to you on that. All right, Timmy, I don't know if you had, had this response to me. Yeah, thank you so much. I think that's quite clear and straightforward. Thank you. Do you have a second that question? Well, you're good. Um, I think I'm good for now. Gotcha. I've got Rio. Rio, Rio, what's up? Rio Ago. How you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. Rio, you got a question? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, I'm doing fine. Um, I wanted to ask, like, um, I like the question that the lady just asked, so, and she said something about, um, small scale businesses right wow. so i'm personally i'm working on getting my own registering my business i'm almost there so and i want to know like you know that sometimes when you get this loan even when you are trying to do what you want to do sometimes the thing don't materialize instantly so i want to ask is it possible that you can give like a one month break or something so that maybe most times when you start a business, these things don't materialize instantly, you know? Like a one month break for like a, you are asking if, if they can give you one month moratorium or yes, like, to put things together, get some shit together and all that. That's a that's a good question. I mean not, well, you, you're you're asking, you're not saying that they should, right? So carbon, did you yes, I'm asking. yes, I'm asking. 
All right. Thanks a lot. That's not, that's a good question because I I can understand that. I mean, like you rightfully pointed out, Nigeria can happen. Things can be. It's a very interesting um, situation running business here in Nigeria. So I, I quite um, understand what you're saying. Um, n- nonetheless, um, I can tell you for a fact that at Carbon, there are no hidden charges. Processing um, loan processing is quite seamless, and disbursement is great. However, for situations of breaking or pausing the loan, as it's where currently, we do not offer um, such level of flexibility where um, small business or SME loans can be paused. We do not, we do not offer that. And so, um, as it's where currently, what is obtainable is um, you could, once you operate in Nigeria, regardless of your size, you make monthly sales, you're a registered business, you can provide us with an active bank account with visibility for the last six months. between two to five working days and it's disbursed immediately. And yeah, um, why we do not also provide to pause your your loan with us, we are very flexible in the sense that we provide weekly or monthly loan repayment. And I think that's that's how far we can help with flexibility, but with regards pausing outrightly pausing the loan, um I, I don't I don't think that's is um, it's feasible and we do not currently afford or uh, provide that kind of service. Yeah, you're not there yet. I mean, I mean, it's reasonable because you are also paying interest on the capital that you have raised to out to uh, to third parties. So I get that. I mean, it, 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 I know in the do they do that in the states? Very, very few people do that because Rio, just to Rio, just to make the points clear to, to you, right? The bank itself is to getting money from investors to give out. Okay. Right. So if they pause, they are that means they're going to pay on your behalf. So it's a bit difficult for them to do it. I think it's a good suggestion, but until I, it's going to be tough because you're basically asking them to pay for you. Right? You understand the point? They borrow and le- and create okay. more assets when they lend to you. So if you don't pay, then they also cannot service their own obligations, more or less. If that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. But what a, what about an extension? I you want to do what's called can, the, can you give me more information what you mean by extension is, is this what you like, mean that you is, can you um, pay a small fee to extend it to the uh, like a grace like a small fee to extend it um to extend grace to extend so i would i'm, I'm not sure i, I follow but um, I mean, we like do not provide a small fee you... okay i was saying like paying a small fee to extend it no, no, we do not. We do not. Uh, we do not right. provide grace period. I think it's grace period. Are trying to um, communicate. I th- we do not provide grace period. You agree to a particular or an agreed tenor, and as such, you are expected to repay within that tenor, say six months, one year, and we yeah. do not provide grace period. That's a good question, Rio. Really. Th- thanks for that. Tell me, you got your hand up. With that yeah. said, yeah, real. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, I, I could hear you. I, th- I think I heard you. Yeah, that that yeah, said, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be like monthly. You could. It's flexible for you to have weekly, and so periods where you think you you you've got excess cash, you could make advance repayment. So you you make allowances for periods where you think you would have like downtimes. So it's a lot more flexible. We can provide flexibility with repayment. Not necessarily have to wait till the end of the month. You can make it a weekly repayment. Does Does that work for you? Yeah, it's okay. All right. Gotcha. It's okay. Thank you very much. Tell me, do you have a, I see your hand. I'm going to if you have had a follow yeah. yeah, go for it. Okay, so um, the general knowledge I have about um, bank loans from what I've read and seen is that, you know, you get money and they get to decide how you repay the money. So let's say as a growing business owner, you get like EG, one millionaire, and um, they tell you, you have to pay this in the next six months with this interest. Um, with carbon, is it a bit more, I know you talked about flexibility, but maybe you can deep dive, dive a bit. So, for example, if I come to you to say, okay, like on your app or website and say, I need a loan of, let's say, two million naira to run my business. And realistically, even based on the realities I have in my business and forecast, apart from whatever I have in my um my what's it called bank statement 
is that I can pay back this loan for the next one year, you know, based on assumption. Does Carbon I can, For a very strange that? reason, I'm not sure I heard Timmy's question, but if you hear that clearly, you, do, you, do you mind just rephrasing for me? Yeah, she was asking. Okay. She was running. So, Timmy, go ahead and ask yeah. the questions. I'll, I'll re- relate to, to, to the ca- ca- cabin. Yeah. So it's okay, of- great. Yeah. I'll just finish up and then you can help me relate to him. So, does Carbon offer that um, flexibility in time frame? Um, you know, rather than the normal statutory, if you get this amount, this is the realistic number of months to pay back. Is there that flexibility based on the fact that you are not like a normal statutory bank that we all know? So what she's asking is essentially like if I take a loan from Carbons for say five months, six months, right? And like Rio is also asking, if I have to be flexible in my repayment, could I come in and discuss the flex- flexible re- refinancing and even when maybe I extend the term or I refinance that loan for a different covenant as before I took the loan. I think, I think that's what they're both asking. Can I walk into Carbon and sit down together and say, my cash flow didn't come to as expected. Could we renegotiate? That's, I get the question. Mm, okay, so I, I think, yeah, that's actually one of the questions Ray was asking. All right, so um, is- as oh. we're currently at Carbon, yeah, I can, I can hear you. No, so um, hold on, come on, tell me, you want to clarify your question? Go ahead. Yes. For me, it's been plain from the from the beginning. So based on all the permutations and, you know, reality of the website and mm. I've, um, you know, registered and they say, okay, this money you want to get is six months that you have to pay back. Mm. Is there a way where we can discuss with Carbon to say, before I take this money, I know like, I know my business better than whatever is on the book. Can mm. I pay back in one year? That's what I'm asking. Oh, okay, gotcha. So, Carbon, what she's asking is, I think that's it. she's saying at the very beginning, before she even takes the loan, if you are offering her a loan of, say, six months, she's asking, can she discuss with you and say, oh, I think I can pay this back in one year rather than the six months that you've actually offered to her on the loan? So, can she, like, make a counter offer at the very, very beginning, not, not that she's taking a loan? Go ahead, Carbon, you got the floor. Hello. All right. So the question I mean, that that changes my my. But if I, if I get you correctly, you've applied for a loan. Let's say your initial agreement is um, six months, and you want to renegotiate for for a year. Uh, you're asking if it is possible for for us to change the same loan application that it was stated for six months for, which should which um, we negotiated or we updated to a year. Is, is that a question you're asking? Something like that. They are basically, I think that really what they're asking is, can we be flexible with you? Since you're not this traditional um, bank, can you be more flexible with your customers? I guess that's the general question they're asking. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, as it's where currently, we, we can't, we do not provide such level of um, flexibility. Mm-hmm. Um, once it's six months, it's been agreed or four, and there's been a disbursement to your account for the amount of money, let's say a millionaire, 10 millionaire. Oh, and, and if you're still speaking, uh, you, 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 you cut off. Hello, sir. Okay, I think it's cut off a bit. Uh, Carbon, if you can hear me, you cut off a bit. So I'm going to get Desmond to ask his question, and I'm going to write that down. Desmond, I don't know if you can hear me. Um, is it me? I might the one that's for folks and care. Yo, Tammy, can you hear me? Just do the mic check. Tammy, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you properly. Yeah, I think the carbon guy caught up. I couldn't. I can't really hear him. And I wanted Desmond to go ahead and ask his question. Desmond, you, are you are you okay? Oh, we need to to go on live now, or I can move on to Chidi. All right, Chidi B. Chidi B, can you hear me now? Uh, what's going on, guys? All right. So I, I got Temi can hear me. Chidi or Desmond? Desmond dropped off. Let me get a new one in here. Carbon, if, if you, I see you, like you, you while you were Hello, speaking. good evening. Yeah, hi. Go ahead, Desmond. Now, now, now I can hear you. Okay. Um, 
Well, uh, um, my question is uh, straight to carbon. I want to know, uh, is it, uh, do, do carbon have any plan for the, for those uh, that are like a kind of, uh, those that are not digitalized, the kind of people that are operating their SMEs in a local way? Wow. Is there any plan by carbon to reach out? Is there any plan for carbon to reach out to people that are in rural, rural areas and those that are, into informal sectors and all that. Is there any plan? Carbon, did you hear that question? It's asking yeah. really. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I think, I think that's, a, that's a good and pertinent question, knowing fully well um, the size of Nigerian informal sector. And um, for credit, it, it's quite a very tricky position. For now, due to regulation, we can't go beyond set, we can't stretch the limit of how much or lending to the informal sector without verification. So yes, if you can provide us with the required documentation for compliance reason, which is um, your bank statement that you're a registered business, that you there's some sort of visibility to monthly sales and you operate, whether it's in trade, service, whichever sector you're operating and you're operating in Nigeria, once you can provide us this documentation, you're good to access credit to the limit that's available. However, if you can't or for whatever reason you do not have this documentation, it is um, currently in Nigeria, we can't afford to offer credit facility to businesses that are not registered. So, uh, let me ask you a direct question, right? So, this new, you guys have an offer going on right now, right? Hello? Yeah, we have, what, what kind of offer for, for, small, for SMEs? Yes, no, I mean, no, that's, I'm just talking generally, right? I've seen on your, on your on, on the page, you guys have an offer going on now, you know, right now. At the... yeah, 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 we do. Yeah, so I want to talk about that specifically, the, 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 the offer for digital natives. I want to go back to that and just, can you speak on that particular offer and what, you, what you basically it is, who can qualify, things like that? All right. And so for... Um, for currently, we, we are offering 30k loan for, for new users. And what that mm -hmm. implies is you on this call, and after this space, you, you seem a little bit con convinced, or maybe you're just skeptical, you want to try it out to verify all of our claims. You just go to download Carbon Hub, like I said initially, either on the Play Store, Google Play Store, I, I, uh, Apple Store. Once you download um, the app, you could and you complete um, emphasis and complete your verification, you can get access to a loan of 30K. Yes, and with this loan showing your credit report, absolutely it would show. Um, but more importantly, you could access 30K loan for new users. So essentially, I, I download the app. I can, like you said at the very beginning, apply for this. What's in, is it, does, does this not have a particular name or what is it called? Is there a specific product name for this 30 kilo? No, we don't give you this specific loan. And so they, they are, like I said, they had other loan names. There's pay later loan and there's carbon zero. And uh -huh. you could get uh, a carbon zero is the buying on pay later. Choose, um, it could be zero, carbon zero. Yeah, carbon zero loan. You can access that on the app. So the carbon zero loan is the one for 30,000 naira. Is that what you're saying? Both of them are for 30,000 naira. Um, the carbon zero loan is more of buying on pay later. It's a lot more flexible. The other one is it's pay later loan. But both of them are 30K limit. You can get access to that. And I can, do you know how long it will? So I can basically just apply and then I get that loan and I can use that loan more like it's like a line of credit or personal loan based on the criteria I've given earlier. Exactly. Gotcha. All right. So I've got Kosa. Kosa, you've got a line. Uh, yeah, good evening, everyone. Hello. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, thank you. Man. Yeah, I've been a customer of Carbon since the days of Philita. Um, I can say I've followed them from development and from the initial stage to this problem. I just want to have it, ask a question. So, Azumi, uh, I have a loan, existing loan, let's say for a year, and Let's say my third or fourth month, I discovered I have SS cash and I could offset the loan. Is it possible for carbon to for the, to just for, for the uh, I mean 
for the that's a hot and hot month. For the remaining eight months, they should just I should just return the principal without paying interest on those months rather than waiting to the twelfth month. I just want to offset it in my fourth month. Is, do you have something similar? Something I'm, I'm, like that? Let, let me get a side note. Let me be very clear. So you are saying you took a loan and you, you want to return the loan. Is that what you're saying? No, let us know. Let us know how many is still with carbon. The initial agreement is twelve months. Let's say that fourth month or the fifth month, I have access to excess cash and I want to offset that loan. Is it possible for carbon to charge me interest for those months that I just want to offset? Just okay, pay, just pay just pay back the principal for those months that you want to offset. You are in the for you pay you are faithful, you pay from the first from the first to the fourth month with your interest. Now you want to offset the remaining eight months because you have access. You have access to excess cash. Is it possible for carbon to say, okay, just forget about the interest. Just pay the principal for the remaining eight months. Is it possible? Did you hear him, sir? Carbon, did you hear what he was asking? And saying he took a yeah. look for it. So I mean, go ahead, sir. Yes, so Kosa, your question is is it possible to offset your loan prior to the agree due date? So for example, it's a six month loan, you want to clear it in month two. Would you be charged interest on the um, other month? And so yeah, um, simply put, there are two types of loans. So if it's a pay later loan, you would be you would be charged because the agreement was a monthly uh, repayment with an interest, you'll be charged. However, if you take a carbon zero loan, like I highlighted earlier on, it's a zero interest loan. On this particular loan, there are no monthly charges accrued. And so let's say you're meant to pay back in month two and you want to clear it before month two, you're free to do that with no interest accruing. Is that is that clear? Did, did you get that, Kosa? Yes, yeah, 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 it's clear. Yeah, yeah. Cap also get a lot of DMs on this 30k loan. I don't know if you could maybe just take it again. Just if you could just maybe explain it again. People are asking more questions about that. Um, what's the name? What do you just I know you said there are two types, the zero buy now, pay later, and the other one. We just want to be clear on that. So it's a thirty thousand dollar loan. Uh, what, how was the tenure? If you could just give us a summary again, that would be appreciated. Sure. And so for for carbon, and so let me just go over it again. You you are on this call, you have a need and you could gain access to credit as low as 30,000. So what is required is you download Carbon app, whether it's an Android or an, an iOS device you're making use of, you download Carbon's app. And once you do that, you have access when you complete your, reg your, your verification, which is your bank statement, your BVN. Once you've completed or successfully completed that verification, your KYC, the process, you get access to a 30K loan. And so there are two particular loan products you can gain access to if you choose that. And so the initial one, it's um, yeah. it's zero, which is the typical buying and pay later. So you want to go on, let's say, Jumia, you want to buy something worth of whatever amount, you get ex access to 30K to finance that, that transaction. It's easy. Once you create the transfer, you could get access to a 30K loan on zero. For this particular loan on carbon zero, you do not pay a monthly interest. What you pay is a 5% processing fee, and it's one time, and you pay back. The second loan is pay later loan also. Also 30K, you gain access to this loan. Um, it's a monthly repayment structure. But more importantly, the earlier you repay, and once you make repayment early, it improves your credit score, meaning you can increase your limit from 30k so for example you agree to pay back in two months and in month one you're able to clear back the 30k what that means is we would review um we review your limit and you can get it will be subsequently be improved upon so the earlier earlier repayment count is really essential why you can make repayments monthly the earlier you clear this repayment it helps improve to you can get increased limit that's interesting so you're saying if i if i take yeah, no for six months and i'm able to pay that loan off early, then it sort of internally it makes me it increases my score. It, it, my, your own score in carbon it makes it look better for me. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it shows you like you're, you're, you're a good user. You are able to fulfill your obligation, but more importantly, you can repay faster. And that's the kind of customers would want to do business with. Any lenders would want to do business with. You make repayment, and in in addition, what you get. As a benefit for that is an increased limit, so you show that you have capacity to take more credit. 
Okay, okay. That's uh that's very interesting. I'm, I've not heard anyone say that. But that's very interesting. Uh Otilo, you've got the floor. Go ahead, sir. Okay, good evening now. How you doing? Okay, before Hello. I go on to my question to Carbon, uh, first of all, let me thank you, Mr. Adja, for hosting this program. Then also to Carbon, I'm a customer which I and your I've been using your account for uh, steady. I remember last year when I started to start my building at a particular point, I did not have any cash. I have to run to Carbon, which they really assisted. Uh, to Carbon, I'm grateful for your uh, services. Then what I want to ask, your Carbon Zero, I know there's a time I tried it. They said it's for, uh, for only Lagos uh, residents. So I want to know, has it been open for everyone in, in, in all the states or still in only Lagos? Back to uh, Carbon, I'm asking this question. So. Yeah, th thanks a lot for that question. Uh, it's really warming to hear that you've made it of the product for a long while. So um, why that is strange? Yes, wherever you are in Nigeria, you couldn't get access to Carbon Zero. You don't have to be in Lagos or you don't have to be a resident of Lagos Island or mainland or whatever. You just have to fulfill basic requirements, which is you provide us with a bank statement with basic verification, customer verification. You can get access to Carbon Zero regardless of location. It's not location dependent. Okay. Then secondly, please, uh, there's a time I applied for, that should be SM, uh, SME loan. Then that should be up to a tune of uh, 3 million. I know they, it did not go through, but I was not given the reason why it was uh, turned down. They accepted my statement and it was okay. It was okay to go. But at a point, they, they turned it down. But I did not get the reason. Though this is a, maybe uh, later I will send a mail uh, to your office to know why it was uh, turned down. But in everything, I, I thank you. And I thank your bank for the services they render. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, just, just, to, just to wrap up on that. Um, you said the loan was done, and my apologies again that you didn't get enough reason or clarification as to why your loan was declined. And if you don't mind, you could retry applying for a loan. And if you, for whatever reason, you are unable to access that, please reach out to us on support. Someone will jump on the case immediately and give uh, a clear resolution to that. My apologies again for the experience. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Got You're you. Welcome. Ajogo. Ajogo, uh, we're going to be one of the last speakers. Uh, I think we'll spend an hour unless Kevin wants to stay longer. So Ajogo, you've got the floor, sir. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, thank you. Um, for I have a question directly. I have three questions for Carbon. Uh, the first is, uh, what is the uh, highest limit that you can give on a loan? Secondly, um, do you, are you guys on the on brokers can do you have where we can uh, invest in carbon do you have platforms where, where we can uh, buy shares also on carbon okay what i'm saying then the third question is um is the, sorry go ahead um, okay yeah so the third question is what is the um, sorry i think i that was my two questions you can answer this Oh, you want to... All right, cool. Go ahead. All right. Just in case you remember the third question, I'm happy to um to answer that. And also for I'm happy to stay longer to answer everyone's question. And your first question was around what is the highest loan you can get? Um again, this these figures are not fixed at carbon. We do not put a cap on how much you can um credit limit what you can get access to. What we do is we ensure that we have a pretermined um income model or assess assessment model where debt-to-income ratio is a very key factor in determining how much you make. So, for example, you make 30K. There are three people applying for loans right now this evening after this space. One is applying for a, um, three different users. You will not all get the exact um, limit because, example, reason being that is you have different income levels. There are different criteria that come into place. So there is no fixed amount you can get. If you have an income of, let's say, 100K, someone has an income of 500K, it's completely two different income levels. And as such, your limit to repay monthly is, is completely different. And what you have as limit is, is peculiar to your income level and every other factor. So no, there is no 
we don't fix an highest amount of loan income. The more you earn on the platform, you pretty much can get more access to credit. And for your second question, do we do brokerage and sell shares? No, we do not. As with where we do not provide such service. What we currently have provided at Carbon is, um, what we provide as Carbon now is um, investment. You can invest, um, make investment on the program, savings and investment product. We do not have access to selling or buying or acquiring shares for publicly listed companies. Okay. Ajago, did you have any, any questions for follow, follow up on that? Uh, no, I think uh, that's, uh, uh, that's, it. that's it. Thank you. So, Cabo, so just Rio has his hand up. Rio, let me make you ask, ask a question. I have a question for Cabo. Rio, go ahead. Okay. Um, thank you. Um, I want to ask, my question is similar to that of Ajago, but the reason I'm asking this is because um, you know, as a business person, where, where I put my money is where I know that I can get good credit score and develop a portfolio whereby I know that, ah, these people, they can, maybe if they see my 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 money there and they know that I'm a steady, I steadily use the app, they can easily um, give me money. So I want to ask, like, what is the maximum limit or... or do they do you guys give for SMEs? Do you guys give up to 20 million? So that's wow. my question. 20 million. Um, that's a large ticket size loan. Um, nonetheless, uh, you, I would like to ask the first phase of your question. And so you could, I mean, it's not mandatory you submit just one bank statement. Like you said, some, some banks may be using a same example, you use a particular bank more often than the others. But I would recommend and I would advise once you're making applications for loan, you please submit all your your bank statement, all the banks that has like consistent transaction visibility to help in the limit you can acquire. However, um, as it's where right now, we, we give limits, loan, the limit loan, maximum you can get for SME loans right now is 10 million. And in a, in a situation you will pay back in let's say six months, you can get access to another 10 million. But right now, the maximum you can get for SME loan is 10 million naira. All right, thank you. That's interesting, interesting. So, Kevin, uh, I've got a question, right? So, what are the Is there any go to, any hashtag, or is just the Twitter site? Just for in case one is just dropped in, how can just give us um, the follow up steps that we can do? All right. Um, easily, if you want to follow up and get an access to these um, one you can go you could follow carbon here on twitter you can follow carbon get carbon on instagram and you can also check out our website for um get access to more information um, that you require so on our website we have as much detailed information you want to try and if you're, you're an existing carbon user all you have to do is um you can contact support would respond to your issues immediately it could be in-app it could be on social media whichever channel works best and suits you you could reach out to us. Gotcha. I've got Edward. Edward, you got to, you want, want to say something? Okay. Hi. Um. I. I. I have like uh, two quick questions that I want um, Carbon to respond to quickly. Hello. There's someone else speaking. Hello. I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. So, uh, two questions I want uh, Carbon to respond to uh, quickly. Are there any limitations on what, uh, if I get a loan from Carbon, for instance, uh, is there like a, a limitation to what loans can be used for? Uh, can I take the loan? Uh, like, do you ask questions, for instance? Because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a Carbon customer myself, and I've been using Carbon for a number of years. Uh, so, of course, I know occasionally when you want to get a loan, you're asked, uh, what is this uh, loan being used for? Uh, if I decide to not use the loan, let's say, for instance, I say I'm getting this loan for an health emergency, and then maybe... I don't need it. I don't need it for that health emergency anymore. I decide to use it to fix my shock absorber, for instance. Like, uh, is that is there a penalty for that? Are there limitations to what I use uh, the loan for? Uh, then I think the the other thing is, and I think Kalu mentioned it earlier about uh, a lot of loan providers data privacy issues and stuff like that like how does carbon address uh things like that like is my data secure uh with uh 
carbon and all of that. So two questions. One is that are there limitations to what I can use the loan I get from carbon for? And the second one is that how what do you do in terms of protecting my data, my pri my privacy uh, as a customer? Nice one. How about, did you hear his questions? You got the floor to respond. I, I have a question, please. I ask you, or oh, oh, would you guys pay him back? Somebody's going to call you to to hound you on, on, on repayment. So there is, you don't have that kind of expenses on carbon. Um, on, and as such, you wouldn't get such experiences. Uh, for the first question you asked us, um, would you, is it is it tied to a particular need? Um, the answer is no. Um, like I said, it's, it's a 30K loan. You're free to use it based on your discretion. However, your payment is within an agreed payment. And so once you could pay back the loan, we, we are not particular about you using it for for a specific needs. It's, again, it's a, it's a loan product. It's to help meet your needs. That's what it's designed for, not to meet your feeding or entertainment. It's meant to meet your needs. Whatever that needs is, it, it's left to you to decide. I don't know if you got me. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Um, sorry, the, the second question, I didn't get your answer in terms of, uh, like, what steps do you take? Or is there, like, a internal policy in terms of protecting customer data, ensuring that uh, privacy and all of that? Uh, I wanted you to just maybe touch on that a bit. Uh, it, it's, it's okay. Yeah, I think uh, we... we 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 address this some somewhat very early in the conversation, and so at Carbon we we follow very strict and we have the best practices when it comes to data privacy and work very closely with regulators. We ensure that um, we are compliant with area of data and specifically for customer data, and we we work with um, regulatory bodies including GDPR and PCI, ensuring that we meet their standards for keeping data. More importantly is that we do not share customers' data with third parties. May we ensure that internally to policy we do not we do not divulge customer data or data to the third party. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Right. Yeah, I've got Omar um Omoya Oja. Sorry if I put that name wrong. Good floor, sir. Go ahead. At 99, Kini Moon. You've got the floor. Go ahead, sir. Okay, so he's not speaking. All right, so, Kevin, um, I, I think it's been an interesting conversation, right? I started off by talking really about the role of credit in wealth creation, not just for the industry. Hello. I think he's here now. Go ahead, Hello? sir. You've got the floor. Hello. Go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sure. Go for it. Oh, okay. Ask a question. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Kalu. Thank you. Um, Carbon. Um, I've been I've been trying to to do an update on my carbon account and I, it's been pretty difficult doing that. I tried to change my phone number on file. The the one I have on file, I've actually changed it. And then the new one I want to upload is the one I'm using for my um is the one attached to all my banks for for receiving my SMS and all that. So, because I, I think each time I try to request a loan, I I really don't get um don't get approved. I don't know if if it's because of uh, they cannot if it's due to them being able to assess my my I don't know maybe my bank or something. And then again, I I try to I try to submit my my statement of accounts. It's pretty difficult. I, I've not been able to successfully do that. Each time I try to, it, it keeps, it keeps failing. They are not able to to complete the task. I don't know why. Yeah. Um. Let, let me start off by apologizing for your experience using that platform, and um, and I would I would like to personally see how we can resolve that. Can you can you help um take this conversation by reaching out to support so we can. I'm um, every single complaint you have with regards verification with upload of bank statements. Can you just contact support on our app? So once you do that, we'll be able to assign and a, a customer agent would pick up your your query and ensure it's resolved. 
once again, let me apologize for, for the experience making use of our bank. Okay. All right. So let me just take Rio real quick. Your hand is up. If you have anything to, to add, I'll take your comments before I get back to Kevin. Rio, go ahead. Okay. I just want to say something like this, this question is personal to me because you said something about digital natives and all that. And I want to ask a question because, okay, like, do you guys accept um kind of form of a receipt or statement from um what's it called again cooperative societies because most of them don't and they are not um digital they have not digitalized their systems and all that so I don't know so if you have a lot of resources there can you really show what you have if because most times it's not digital. Let, let me let me uh, can you give me more information uh, i would like to understand what do you mean asking if i mean, i can even broaden his question he's saying do, do you take like non digital or traditional very traditional means of collateral if i have a if i have a cooperative account statement that's an internal statement right would that be would that be sufficient to add as act as collateral if i want to take a loan from carbon say i work in a company we have an internal corporate society. I have savings there. Or I have. Let's even say my pension. Is that sufficient collateral for SME loans? This is not personal. This is SME, right? Real? Are you, I think let's do, let's do personal loans one. Let's do SME. We can answer both of them. Yeah. So for for let me start out with personal. Loan. Nobody nobody's going to require you send your pension slip or any other document. What we need is is quite accessible to the general public. You need your BVN and your bank statement. And the bank statement, you don't have to, it's, just, it's not necessarily for you to upload it. You can just give us a, your bank and we just prove that. So you don't need to provide any other documentation aside of that. For SME loans, um, we, we, we do not even request, for either of them, we do not request for collateral of any sort. It's very accessible. However, for the SME loans, you would need to provide us for I me mean, for compliance you need to provide us that indeed this is a, a you're requesting a loan for your business and it is duly registered under the um, laws of nigeria you operate in nigeria and more importantly that you are a business that has traction or sales and once you can provide us one your documentation that val validates that you're a registered business you'll be able to access loan for sme loans either of them does not require any collateral of any sort does this, does okay. this address your question? No, like what I'm trying to see now is that what if I have a lot of resources there? What if I have a lot of resources in a cooperative society and you know they are not digital natives, they have not a digitalized the system. So is it possible for you to receive like a um traditional receipt from that kind of organization that you can use in stepping as in Checking or uh, finding out how how much um, credit you can give to me. Oh, that's that's a peak situation. As it's where right now, we would need register. We would need documentation that is validated by the laws of Nigeria and corporate society. Um, any of those sort of of platforms are not recognized. You just need to provide us. You could, you could put the financing in in your bank. Then we once it's in an it's in the active bank account. Yes, it will count but once it's incorporated society any other arrangement as it's where currently we do not accept those um, documents as a means of verification for sme loans all right thank you that's pretty clear so let me just go back to the earlier question i asked i just wanted to be clear on this right um what's the insight just give us again the insight that cardboard would use you know to determine the loan amount for customers just how would you go back to my example? I want to borrow fifty thousand naira. What would you? How would you process this application? What internal criteria are you using? I'm trying to get the answer so I can walk to the answer. If you if you could speak on that, that would be helpful. All right, cool. Again, um, if you want to access a loan in in, in carbon uh, for personal loans, you just have to log into our app. Once you log into our app and you want to get a uh, loan, you complete the required. Um, KYC, you can upgrade your KYC. And how do you do that? By um, providing us with your BVN, with your address, and every other um, required 
data once we validate those are correct and um, we can now you can now proceed to providing us with your bank statement and so all of these play a key role when you're being assessed for a loan so once you provide it with your kyc with your documentation it could be your, your international passport it could be it could be your ni whatever document that validates that you are indeed a, a national of nigeria and you you also provide us your bank statement these are what comes into play when assessing your your or profiling you to give you the credit limit on carbon okay okay and then just again you know how let's just go back to this middle class and all that you know how are we making this uh, credits up I, i'm still going back to the demographics you know and why we're just talking about the native is there a gap in the market that you see for credits for i.e digital nieces or middle class folks is that why we're doing this or have we been doing this just talk to me about that if you don't mind yeah sure and so uh carbon is a leader in the space of lending in, in, in lending and more importantly we we're a credit-led digital bank we're not uh uh, uh, an instant lending company of fintech. We're a digital bank, and what we've done over the years is we've got a, we've got an insight with our users. And one of the things we realize is they are middle class digital natives, middle class upwardly mobile professionals. And so, what our product, our credit product, does is it ensures we provide these users with accessibility, seamless and quick access to credit so facility. Yeah, and so, okay, and so what that does is, like, take take for instance, you're a middle class, you 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 work a job, let's say in Ibadan or in in Port Harcourt, you have a cycled income, you you paid you paid your salary, let's say in the twenty seventh of each month, and you could with your with your bank statement that validates this and every other verification user verification, you can get access to credit on carbon for digital natives also likewise you're not excluded from this you work whatever job you whatever um, hustle that guarantees some sort of income for you once you provide us um, documentation on your backend that validates your income and also completing your kyc you could get access to this and this does not exclude people that own registered businesses as smes whatever the size we're not particular about that as long as you can provide us documentation that validates that your business is duly registered and it's that's traction and you have like a corporate uh, you've got a corporate bank account, you could give us the bank statement to validate this. You can get access to as much as ten million era um loan for your business. Okay, makes sense. Uh let me get uh, Joe. Like I got Joe Oko here, and then we'll get Dim as well, and then we'll maybe start to close down. Joe, you've got the floor. Go ahead. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, I don't know if this question has been asked earlier, but uh, I really want to know. There was a time I tried... Go ahead. Hello. Please go ahead. Okay. There was a time I tried to open a corporate account with Carbon, and it was not successful. Is it now operational? Can one have a corporate account with Carbon? And uh, secondly, secondly, I want to know, uh, there are some uh, digital banks now that uh, if you want to make transaction between Carbon and them, Carbon is not found on their platform. And even uh, when you are want to also receive from them, Carbon is still not found. Is there anything that is wrong or is carbon working on this uh, particular uh, problem? Thank you. Great questions, great questions. Uh, carbon, you want to address those? I asked two quick questions. One, are you doing now open corporate accounts? Two, the connectivity and all that. Yeah, great questions. All right. Yeah, um, first, let me, let me address your question on corporate accounts. We actually um, provide corporate accounts, or it's called Optimus. You can set up your corporate accounts. I'm not sure exactly, but you could also not, not just for you, for everyone having challenges, you could reach out to us via DM. A customer support agent will pick up the ticket, your your query and and resolve that. And yeah, you can um you could raise up that question with regards to corporate account. We can see how we can resolve that. And to your question, the other question on um um, um network connectivity with other banks. 
and that that's an ongoing issue that's currently being resolved. And so you could uh, you could also in 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 the, in the DM you could share us which bank is involved or affected that doesn't recognize or you're unable to transfer to us. But that as as it has been resolved, you can transfer, you can receive and send money from Carbon to to whichever banks that operates here in Nigeria. Okay. But please share, share share your share your complaint on on via DM so we can we can jump on that if there's any other challenge you're facing. Excellent, excellent, good job. All right, so I've got Dim, Dim, Alex. Okay, uh, good evening. Uh, sorry for coming a bit late. Uh, my question actually uh, was uh, part of it were asked by the last um, um, uh, speaker, that's the person that asked the last question. But I will now concentrate on the issue of um, uh, 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 the optimal stats uh, because about, uh, I got to know about carbon through uh, Kaluaja post some weeks back. So my question now is um, on the issue of the uh, loan, because I applied for a loan on carbon just about a week ago. So and um, I understand that um, it takes about uh, three to five days to get a response. But uh, till now, I have not been able to get a response. And I also want to ask, just like the last uh, uh, speaker asked, that to open a carbon account, what are uh, the requirements to open a, uh, a carbon account? And the carbon account, if it's open, will it also run like the normal uh, carbon app? But I have a personal uh, account with the carbon, but I operate it using the app. So the current account, the gas corporate account, will it also, uh, is it an app or it will run on the Optimus, um, Optimus um, uh, uh, platform? So that's my question. Okay, great. All right. Good, good, good stuff. Good question. Um, so for your question with regards to the loan that you applied for, although I would, I would require like more context to that, was it a personal loan? Was it a corporate loan? Um, um, but nonetheless, if it's if it's a a personal loan you requested for three to five days, that's that's really um, um, strange. Can you reach us reach out to us via DM if there is something that was out of place maybe with your application so we can jump on that however for for the optimus if it's via optimus that you made the application for loan um no we it's not it's not accessible via the carbon app it's strictly via the um web it's on our web portal so you could for corporate account you could um you could access corporate account via the web not the app so please you create an account you upload your required document as soon as you do that you can get corporate loans but for personal loans, that can be done via the app seamlessly. Okay, great stuff, great stuff. Yeah, we're getting there. Nice one. Okay, so I see we're getting a lot of requests for you, sir. I'm not going to get to the DMs, but a lot of requests. Uh, thanks for sharing. People are a bit more, have more clarity uh, on uh, carbon. We're going to call we're going to come back to your house question. This guy's asking about mortgages. So I don't think carbon does mortgages yet. Uh, maybe yes. No, I don't. Do you do guys do mortgages? Just let me ask for the record. No, we don't do that. We don't do mortgages. Okay, just ask for the record. And yes, they don't. They don't do stockbroking. They are digital. What you said? You were a digital bank, not a fintech. What does that mean? And Good you... question. Yeah, sure. Um, so for for digital banks, we we are licensed by by the CBN and every other regulator to carry out um um uh, certain kind of transaction so for example we are allowed to run like a like a regular bank we do not just we're not our service are not just limited to savings and investment products it's what is obtainable in your regular traditional bank you could um, you could carry out those same services on carbon so could it be uh, investment could it be could it be uh, a set of savings could it be corporate loans could it be business loans could it be personal loans could it be payment bills payment we do all of that in one, not just limited to one particular service. So you could do maybe, let's say, buying of bills from a particular app. And on Carbon, you could do all of these things like you could do in a regular bank, like a GT or a First Bank. You could do every other service, but it's digitally. Oh, okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Thanks for that clarification. Appreciate it. I got a dig there. This is uh, a philominum. Sorry if I pressed it wrongly. You've got the floor. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, Kalu. Um, my question is is just um, a very simple question. Um, I want to believe um, technology is one of the major channels that um, Carbon is using to deliver value. And I don't know if it's for me. There's...
Your, your audio is breaking up, sir. Okay. I, I don't know if it's on this end that I've known um, um, financial technology companies, even though he said they are not a fintech company, but um, companies that use technology to aid um, the services that they offer. They have actually noticed that there have been a lot of down times with these um, banking companies. Sometimes as long as a day, like you Yeah, you're just leave me off, sir. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. So, can you hear me, sir? Very clearly. Yeah, you're no talking problem. about okay. So, yes, your technology because I I don't know. Almost all the comp, or almost all the um financial technology companies that I know, sometimes they can have down times of up to a day. Sometimes even. Two transaction on the app so like what guarantees carbon giving around your technology what's what's your technology and how can we trust um the carbon technology to say okay maybe with this great time we will not be experiencing any downtime and affect um affect us in a negative way yeah that's that's a that's a phenomenal question that's a very good one so yeah your question is with regards our technology infrastructure and how Customers are always guaranteed a stable or um, great service every single day. So, yeah, um, um, this is not just peculiar to carbon, like you rightly pointed in your question. This is affected by financial services. There are other underlying factors why it is just particular to or particular with financial services in, in Nigeria. And nonetheless, at carbon, we, we are always keen on innovation. And we, one of our core goal and our primary goal, principal goal, our first principle is putting the customer first. And over time, we realized that in a bit to ensure we guarantee consistent, excellent service to our, to our users, we have had to currently upgrade most of our infrastructures. What is implied is that now you could get access to all our services and it gets better. Yes, we've taken note of things and complaints that customers and users have given us over the past, like rightly pointed out, uh, service downtime. And and um, in addition to every other um, technical or operational challenges we've been facing, and as a business and as an entity in the financial service space that is affected by the same issues, we we are currently working on upgrading this. And in the coming days, you would see that just like last week, you see that there's an update. You probably got you probably got the communications from us nudging you to update your app. So whenever you get, uh, if you have not gotten that, also maybe you get it in the coming days or coming weeks. Please update your app. What that does is you improves the version of the app, and it makes sure you do not have service downtown as you prior get. But again, apologies for inconvenience with regards to service downtown in the past, and it's something we are keen and we are consistent on giving great value for every time you make of our product. That was a great, great one. Uh, someone is asking if you offer POF loans. I know what POF loans. I've asked him to clarify that if he does. Well, I think I know that. It's, it's proof of funds. No, as of now, we do not provide proof of funds for for our users. Okay. So that answers that question. Is that for Jack Ma? Not pretty much. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Good, good, good stuff there. All right. Well, I mean, it's been an interesting conversation. Like I said, um, we are all about talking about money, the uh, finance, the economy, but I want to make it personal. You know, how does it affect my pocket? And now we have an option, right? We've heard that if we have that need, we can actually get um, a loan for, say, 30,000 naira. And you've sort of made it, you've given us the whole work to say if we pay back on time, if we pay back early, we can increase that line, at even, maybe perhaps get a lower interest rate. So it looks like, like this is like an emergency fund I could start to build. Like if I was taking a loan, I would go to Carbon, get one, and sort of drive that number up to a limit where I can have something there that I can, that I can if I need it. So I do like that. I like that it's an option. I also the pastel side. That's also good. And I like that you've also been able to take the questions uh, from the folks. I've not heard anyone really say anything too bad about um, carbon. So, again, kudos to you and to your team <clears throat> and to all the guys that run carbon. I don't know if you have any closing remarks, sir, before I officially let us go enjoy our weekend.
Carbon, you have any questions? I just wanted to say that again, um, thank you for joining this space. Um, thank you for taking our time to listen to a proposition and for everyone has raised queries, please feel free to reach out to us via DM if you can with your queries. Someone's going to pick it up and resolve them. And more importantly, I shared in this link how you can download for those that are new users that are interested in this. Please download um, the app. There's a link already attached. Please click the link. It takes you to the Play Store or Google Store to download the app and you can complete that in very simple step, less than five to 10 minutes, you're done. Once you provide us with your basic verification access to probably KYC for your um, your your BVN, your your bank statements, and with that, you're good enough to access the 30K loan immediately. Once again, thank you for your time. Yeah, again, thank you again uh, for giving us that option and educating us about it. Um, I've also shared the handle. Kevin has put the hand, the handle on how you can access, how you can download the app. Uh, there's a link there. I've done a retweet. So you can go, go to Carbon's handle at get underscore Carbon, or you can go to my handle and also get that link there. And if you are interested, please download. But let me just close with advice for you guys. Debt is no front-loaded consumption. So if you take a debt, you're basically consuming your income in the future. But like I said at the very beginning, you cannot, it's difficult to grow and to scale without having access to credit. The middle point is knowing how to utilize different types of credit at different life stages to grow your income and to balance, uh, should we say, your balance sheet. So I'd like to see uh, this loan be used for productive activities. If you're a startup, you want to borrow, you are taking a loan for working capital to boost your ability to deliver on your promise and your vision to your clients. You know, don't, don't take a loan to buy a status car. You might take a loan to buy a delivery van, you know, that's going to pay back. So in essence, if you're taking an interest-bearing loan, make sure it is being used for an interest bearing or in income and a bear earning activity. So interest bearing loan should only go to income generating activities. So with that word of advice, I would close out the space. Thank you guys for joining. Hope to be back here next week. I think next week is going to be on a Sunday. We alternate the days on the weekend that we hold the space. It's going to be the a Friday, a Saturday, or a Sunday. So next week is going to be on a Sunday. Uh, same time, 7 p.m. West African time when we talk money, capital markets, finance. And we'll try to make it, of course, personal to you. So on that note, thank you, Carbon. Thank you all that are joining. I appreciate all the questions. I wish you guys Godspeed and take care of yourselves. Bye.